What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Coding with Robbie. My name is Robbie and in this video we're going to be covering sending email in Golang. So we're going to be covering several different methods in this video. Uh, the first of which is going to be with the net slash SMTP package. This is part of the standard library and it's easy to use. Uh, once we finish up there we'll move over to GoMail. This is the top third party library for sending email. And then lastly we'll be doing it with SendGrid which is an external service to send email. And they have their own client library and everything for Go that we can use. So uh, yeah, make sure to uh, like and subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, we'll get right into it right now. All right, so getting started, I'm just gonna make a new folder for my project. I'll just call it mail, and then I'm gonna CD into that folder and run go mod in it. This will create a go mod file, and then let's open it up in VS Code. And then once it's open, we can create a new file called main.go. And in here, we'll go package main, and then we need a main function. And uh, let's have this function just print hello world for now. So I'll go fmt.println, hello world. And then let's go back to terminal, and uh, let's run it with go run main.go. And you can see we're getting our hello world message, so everything's working good. So now let's uh, send our first email. So let's go back to our code. And I'm gonna create a new function up here. I'll just call mine send mail simple. And for this first one, we're gonna be using the SMTP library. So let's go SMTP dot, and we have to create an auth object. So let's go plain auth. And uh, this takes a few arguments. So for identity, you can just leave it an empty string. For username, I'm gonna be using my Gmail account to do this. So I'll go coding with Robbie at gmail.com. Next up, we got our password, and this is not gonna be your email password. To get the password, you're gonna to come to uh, Google, go to security, and then you have to enable two-step verification, and then once you do, you'll have this app passwords thing. So if you click into that, you can create a special password just for your app. So let's go in there, we'll create a new one. I'll just do other, I'll call it Golang Generate, and this will give us a special password we can use, so let's copy that. And I'm just gonna paste it in. You'll probably wanna do an environment variable though. So we paste in the password. Next up is the host. So the host for Gmail is smtp.gmail.com. And then last up, that is last. So that looks good. And now to send email, it's gonna be smtp.sendmail. And uh, the first one is the address of the SMTP server. So it's smtp dot gmail dot com and this time we have to put the port so go colon 587 next argument is uh, that auth object we created so let's assign this to a variable called auth and then we'll plug that in after that we need the from string which is who it's going to be sending from so I'll just do coding with Ravi at gmail dot com And then next up, we need the addresses that we want to send to, and it's going to be a slice. So let's go string, and I'll just send it to myself for now. So coding with Robbie at gmail.com. And then uh, last up, we got to send our message as a byte array thing. So uh, the message is going to have a very specific format, so we'll create a new variable for it up here. So I'll go message, and it's gonna start with subject, colon, a space, and then we put our subject. So let's go my special subject. And then it needs exactly one line break, and then you put the body of your email. So I'll just go, this is the body of my email. That looks good, let's plug that into our send mail function. So let's go MSG. It's gonna automatically convert it to the format we need. So uh, that looks good. This can potentially return an error, so let's make sure to get that and check for it. So we'll go down here. If error is not equal to nil, then let's print out the error. So fmt.println error. All right, this should send an email. Let's put it in our main function. We'll just go send mail simple, save it, and let's go back to terminal and run it. So I'll just go go run main.go. And it might take a second, and it looks like it finished. So let's see if that's sent. I'll just go to Gmail. And here it is right here. You can see it used our subject. It's sent from our email. It's sent to our email. And uh, we got the body of the email right here. 
So now let's go back and clean it up a little bit. Instead of hard coding in the subject and body and address, let's uh, make it accept arguments. So we'll go subject will be type string. Uh, body will also be type string. And then uh, two will be a uh, string slice. So just like that, and now let's use it. So right here, let's just go subject plus, and then our subject, and then plus, and we need exactly one line break, and then our body. So that looks good for subject and body, and then right here, we can plug in our two argument. So that looks good. Let's just run it one more time. We gotta give it our data now in here, so what do we need? Subject, another subject, um, body, we'll go another body, and I'll send it to the same email. So let's go coding with Robbie at gmail.com. That looks good. Let's run it one more time. Go back here, go run main.go. It'll take a second. It looks like it's sent. Let's make sure we got it. And there we go. We got the new subject and the new body. So everything's working good. So now we're going to make a function that sends HTML instead of plain text. So let's go back to our code and let's just add some line breaks here just so it's all on the screen. Just like that. And uh, yeah, it's almost the same thing. So let's just copy this whole function and I'll just paste it below and I'll call this one simple HTML and it's gonna take HTML instead of just body just so it's more clear. And then yeah, for HTML, you just have to add another line with some headers. So I'll paste it in the description but here they are right here. And now it's gonna be message is equal to subject plus subject and then a line break. And then we put the headers and then we put exactly two line breaks and then the HTML that we wanna send. So that looks good, let's try this function out. So let's go down here, I'll just comment out this old one. And now let's do send mail simple HTML and then we'll put some HTML for our body. So let's go H1, I'm a heading, and then we'll do a P tag, I'm a paragraph. And uh, let's run that and see if it worked. So let's go back to terminal and go run main.go, and it looks like it's sent. Let's go to Gmail, go to inbox, and there you go, we got the heading and the paragraph. So that's pretty cool, but we probably don't want to hard code in HTML like this. Let's instead have it use a template file and we'll plug in some data and everything. So let's create a new file here. I'll just call it uh, test.html. <laughs> and then uh, let's just do all the boilerplate stuff and we'll have this render out hello. And then we're gonna pass it a name. So let's render out the name variable. Save that and now let's alter our function to use that template. So let's go up here, and I guess the first part here will be get HTML. So uh, we're gonna have to parse that template file. So to do that, you can go T and error is equal to, and it's gonna be template.parse files. And then we give it a path to our template file. So let's actually change this up here to be template path. And then we'll pass it to the parse files uh, function right there. And then down here, we got the template parsed and now we gotta execute it and store the data somewhere. So let's create a new variable up here. We'll just call it body and it's gonna be, uh, what is it? Bytes.buffer. Just like that. And now we can execute our template. So let's go t.execute. And then the first argument is where we wanna store the data, which will be our body up here. So let's go and body. And the second argument is the data we're gonna pass into the template. So we said we're gonna pass a name variable. So let's do a struct that has a name of type string. And then let's actually pass in that data. So we'll go name is equal to Robbie, just like that. And uh, yeah, now it should be stored up here in this variable. And we just gotta convert it to a string and plug it into our function, uh, into our message variable, I mean. So let's go right here and instead let's go body.string and then we're getting an error here because I'm reusing the same variable so let's just remove the colon and that looks good. So let's go down here and instead of the HTML let's do a path to the file. So it's just dot slash test.html and let's run this and see if this works. So go back here, go run main.go. It looks like it's sent. Let's go to Gmail inbox 
And here we go, we got Hello Robbie. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing with GoMail. This is a third party library that just makes it a little easier and you can do some more advanced stuff. So uh, you can install it with the command right here. So just copy that, go to your terminal, paste it in, run it, and that'll download it. And then once you have it, if you just click this examples link right here, they show a nice example here. So let's go back to our code and let's make a new function. We'll just call it send go mail. And then we're gonna be getting our template the same way as we did up here. So let's copy this code right here and paste it in. And uh, we gotta accept the template path up here. So template path type string. And then we never did anything with this error, so you can just check for it. So if error is not equal to nil, fmt.println error and then return early. And really we should be doing that up here too. So let's copy it and go to our old function and paste it up here. All right, back down here, we're getting our template with this and now we're gonna send with go mail. So let's copy their example code. And uh, we just gotta plug in our data with it. So our from email is gonna be coding with Robbie at gmail.com. I'm just gonna copy that. I'm gonna be sending it to myself. And I'm not gonna CC anyone, so I'll delete that line. I'll leave the subject as hello. And then for our body, I'm gonna do uh, our body variable up here as a string. So let's go body string. And then this is pretty cool. You can attach images really easy. So I downloaded this cute cat image. I'm gonna add it to my project. And then you just provide a path to it right here. So dot slash cat dot web p. And then ours is Gmail. The port looks right. My username was coding with Robbie at gmail.com. And my password was, what is my password? This guy right here. So let me go back down here and paste it in. There we go. And then down here, it's gonna send it and do an error if there is one. So let's try this out. Let's go down here. I'll comment out this. And let's run send go mail. Our template path is dot slash test.html. And let's run it. Let's go to terminal, go run main.go. And we'll just take a second. And it looks like it's sent. Let's go to Gmail, go to inbox. Where is it? Here we go. So we got hello Robbie and now we got an attachment, which is nice. All right, so last up, we're gonna do SendGrid. So this is a third party service that'll send email for you. So you don't have to burden your server with it. And this is probably what I would recommend doing. But yeah, you can sign up for free and then you get to a dashboard and you'll wanna go to settings, uh, sender authentication, and you have to add a single sender that you can send from. And then once you do that, you can download the uh, SendGrid Go package. So they have the install command right here. So just copy that, go to your terminal, paste it in, run it to get the package. And then uh, if we go down a little bit, they have an example right here. So let's copy this. And uh, let's just make a new function. We'll call it func send send grid. And then let's just paste in their example. And then this has to match your single sender stuff. So mine was Robbie. And it was hello at robbyk.com. And now I'll just leave the subject and I'm gonna send it to myself. Robbie at coding with Robbie at gmail.com. I'll just leave all the body and everything how it comes, but you can add arguments if you want. And then right here we have to put our API key. So to get one of those, you can go back to that dashboard and go to API keys and settings and just create one. So I'll just name it whatever, I'll just do full access and then copy the key and I'll paste it in. You should use environment variables though. And then yeah, this should send it. So let's try to run this and see if it works. Let's go down here. We'll go send, send grid. Hit save and then let's run our uh, program. So let's go here I'll just go go run main.go. I get a 202 success code. And then it says this core's error down here, but I tried it earlier and it will send. So let's see if we received it yet. Let's go back here. And here we go, we got the email. And yeah, there you have it. So that's uh, sending email in Golang. I hope this was helpful to you. Make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know you're there. 
Uh, recently surpassed 500 subscribers, so that's cool. So I'm gonna keep at it with these videos, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.